Hello everyone, welcome back to our last weekly video regarding the revision week itself. So in this video, we're going to tackle more um, actually the skills that are going to be included in the uh, E1 assessment and what criteria are going to be assessed on. Now in our first skill that is reading for just and details, we're going to recognize, define major and specific themes in regard to certain command words. We're going to identify elements of writing an explanatory essay. This is going to be the type of writing that we're dealing with. In regard to required criteria, um, again, provide details and descriptions to enhance the vividness of the writing itself. So what are we going to focus on? What would elevate our writing process? And we're going to model a selected topic in regard to writing, again, an explanatory essay. Now, in regard to basically the command words um, or terms, let's say, that um, has to do with the reading uh, section itself, we're going to talk about analysis, evaluation, comparison, discussion, you know, we're trying to examine certain basically words and conclusions, annotate, support, justify, define, explore, and lastly reflect. And now in regard to the writing requirements, please note that you'll be required to write an explanatory essay. And again, the guide that you have, the study guide that you have on your unit page, again, it's going to be very helpful because it's going to um, help you for the final exam uh, to achieve your best in your writing, uh, especially when it comes to explanatory essay. And now in regard to the outline of writing an explanatory essay, do not forget that in your introduction, you start off with a hook. Again, that is uh, basically an attention graphic statement, a question, a quote, uh, or maybe an anecdote, again, about yourself, anybody. Background to link it more and provide more context. And then you end up with a thesis statement that is the purpose of the whole essay. Do not forget in the body paragraphs, you start off with a topic sentence to try to provide more details and explanations. And then use transitional words and phrases to make it smooth as much as possible between the paragraphs or the ideas that you're providing. Organization is something that you're going to be assessed on. And again, consistency um, when it comes to body paragraphs and your ideas. Your conclusion has to restate the thesis statement that is your aim of the whole essay and you provide summary of some key points that were mentioned and highlighted in the body paragraphs. And now here are some of the examples that you have in regard to basically writing. So we're going to explore uh, meaningful connections uh, and, and contributions to uh, basically the enhancement of our major theme that is individual dignity. We're going to examine connections, empathy, understanding in regard to human dignity and how does the ability to empathize with others influence the way we treat each other and ourselves. And again, we're going to have a lot of relatable basically topics that has to do with the context of your unit that is animal allies. Now, in regard to the novel, we're going to be depicting several themes about equality, respect, mutual respect, recognition. We're going to talk about justice and fairness when it comes to human dignity. And last, we're going to talk about the guidance and support that is highlighted a lot in the novel itself when it comes to a character is living in his own dreams and love and mind to find encouragement and assistance on his own journey. And now in regard to the criteria that are going to be assessed on, so we're going to have criteria A that talks about analyzing stuff, so identifying, uh, looking deeply into details, trying to understand through images, visual presentations, text, uh, reference, context. We're going to talk about organization uh, when it comes to paragraphing, your own writing style, uh, producing test text again, your own, um, you know, um, skill of analyzing stuff, interpreting, justifying, and again, using language itself. So we're going to look at using proper syntax, grammar, and proper punctuation.